Greetings and welcome back everyone to Kingdom New Lands where we are currently busy chopping down trees because that's pretty much what you want to do in a new land. You want to be forested, apparently. Uh, I am... I am a little bit concerned about my, uh, my form of kingship. I will be honest. I think there are some things that uh, I leave to be desired. Nevertheless, we are going to carry on today. Our focus is going to be on building up our defenses, I think. It has to be, I think. Uh, oh, there we are. A bit of a harvest. That is good timing. Now, what I would very much like to do is, if we can, get up to ballista on both sides. Like at least one ballista, maybe even two on this side. Uh, we'll update that straight away. Go ahead. I'm going to have Bjorn... Head into the forest, though. See if I can't drive some deer this way. There we are. Uh, we've already recruited you. Very well. Any deer in here? No deer? Really? There we go. Bjorn's going to be out of stamina in a moment. Uh, there's another one just there. Let's see if I can get you. Okay, there. that one is activated. That's bad. James, let's not stay there anymore. James, James, that is bad. I just said that's bad. James, 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 where are you, James? James, don't leave me, James. I have abandonment issues, James! Oh, thank goodness. Uh, why do you make me fret? Do you enjoy seeing your king worried? Does this please you? Scallywag. Okay, dear, keep going. Keep going. March to your doom, dear. Keep marching. More marching, please. March to your doom! There we go. And then we can upgrade this to the next level. Hooray! We could upgrade that to a low stone wall as well. And it's probably worth doing. But it does mean that I'm going to need a chunk more cash now to finish off that, uh, that defensive wall there. We need more peasant farmers too, really. Go ahead, Yorath. Uh, sorry, uh, Bjorn, I do apologize. Yorath is on my mind because I've got a plan that is going to involve Yorath in the very near future. We'll see if that pans out the way I'm hoping it will. But if it does, then it should really set us up for our expansion. Because we're going to have to tip the scales in our favor for this one. It's not going to just be a case of we can just happily expand the way we want. Not like it in the previous lands. We, we're actually being forced to play this a bit differently. I'm not going to go out and say it's hugely more challenging. Just a, a different tactic. But it could be. Uh, I live in hope, I guess you could say. Right, how's the walls? If we upgrade it now, we'll get a day and a half for the cost of a day. Yeah, accept that. Yonk, yonk. Okay, Bjorn, that's fine. Should we eat some more rabbits? Probably, actually. Let's get all of these down. And then we can head back and start grading walls and indeed towers. It's the towers that I'm more concerned for at the moment because again, as long as it's not a blood moon, then a low stone wall should be more than capable of dealing with whatever might attack us. I'm even tempted to move our front line forward so that our knights have less of a distance to travel each night. That would be quite nice. Uh, we'll see. Let's get that done as well. And yonk, yonk. Now, this should be enough for us to go ahead. Did your arrow land in the water? I don't think I've watched that happen before. That's kind of cool. We should be able to get this tower a good way to its max level. Yeah, I'm not going to upgrade the stone wall. We're, we're going to wait on that one. I'm also probably not going to send a catapult down this way, even though we've got three portals, which means, you know, this is a fair old bit of blood moonage that we could suffer on this side. I think as long as we can get the archer buff, then we should be good. I have a plan to acquire that. How much kind have I got? 
I've got enough. We'll upgrade to the next level as well. And then it's going to be a case of going to the farms, picking up the uh, the architect, and then upgrading each side's max level tower. Right. Do you have any money? No. If I can actually get eight coins, I'm probably going to just upgrade the uh, the shrine again, because we'll get, again, a, a day and a half for the price of a day. We may as well top it up to three days. I mean, I know I'm going to want to active every single day, so at this point, if I can get a discount, then I may as well take it. There we go. That's plenty. Once again, early in the game, maybe even up to mid-game, Bjorn is just way too useful for change, to change for convenience. Though, once your kingdom becomes expansive enough, especially if you've just pushed your front line out to the very edges of your kingdom, you may as well go with something faster because you'll have gotten rid of all of the rabbit warrens inside the uh, perimeter of your kingdom. So, uh, at that point, yeah, there's no point in having Bjorn. Bjorn is only useful if you've got things to hunt. Everything else beyond that, Bjorn is actually one of the least useful mounts. Sad but true, Bjorn. I'm sorry. Look, it's not my fault you eat only grass. You have the chance to eat rabbit. You have the chance to eat dinner. I take you out hunting all the time. You choose to eat grass. You are making the choice, Bjorn. You're basically a brown panda right now. You're eating a food that is so grossly inappropriate for what you do in a day that you have no energy left. You have to spend your entire day eating or you just can't get through it. And again, your choice. No, 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 it's not my fault. I stand by your right to choose. But you lose the right to complain. That, that, that's the kicker. You can choose to eat what you want, Bjorn, but you don't have the right to complain for the choice that you make. All right, let's get this one up to... Dunk. Yep, yeah, up to the max level. Then we'll have the architect... Buff it up. There we go. <sighs> I mean, I suppose, in your defense, Bjorn, you didn't choose to let me ride on your back. I mean, you didn't eat me, and I am thankful for that. But, I mean, that wasn't so much choice as that was acquiescence. Maybe just more of a resignation to fate. You are resigned to your to your role as a mount. And that must suck. I, I do appreciate. I do sympathize. Right, now that that's done, let's head over to the other side. This is actually going to be pretty good. We're going to have two, the two ballistas set up fairly quickly. One thing we don't have on the left, though, is a catapult. And I do kind of want one. I do want one quite a lot, actually. It's way more money than I can currently afford, though. Or is it? It is six coins. No. Yes, it's... No, we can afford it. Okay. Yeah, we'll get a catapult down there as well. We'll pick up some money along the way from the farms. And then we'll use that money to upgrade the ballista. Thank you very much, builder. Now, do you have any cash for your king? Yes, you do. Wonderful. This will be enough, I'm hoping. Yeah, we've easily got enough now to get that ballista set up. Alright, so we may be able to make a push. After tonight, we're probably going to hit one of the portals straight away. And it will be grand. I tell you, grand! Alright, let's get this upgraded to a ballista tower. Hello, my loyal knights. My loyal knight archers. Hello, my loyal hunters. Loyal though you are, you are terrible shots. Your aim is atrocious. Hello, rabbits. You cannot out-hunt my bear. I'm sorry, archers. It's just not going to happen. Never going to come to pass. I'm sorry. Just going to have to accept that. Okay. My bear is tired. My bear does not... No, my bear needs to keep on the move. Oh, thank goodness. My bear is just, just, just faster than the greed. Just. 
If I were to make my bear rear right now by trying to run when he clearly doesn't have the energy to, the creed would catch up and probably take James. Or my crown. Or James and my crown. Maybe me. They'd carry me off. Did you just slay the scat? You did just slay the scat. Well done. Already getting a return on that investment. Absolutely happy with this. There we go. Uh, right here. I think... Launch the attack! Let us be brave! Should I upgrade this? No! Let us be brave! Also stupid! Let us be really dumb! So dumb! Why are we so dumb? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we probably should upgrade it, actually. Uh, I need a rabbit. Pure needs food. Thank you. Oh, it's Blood Moon Day as well. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade that wall. Come then, Beyond. One, two, three. Okay, that's more than enough. Let's get back. Oh, my lord. I have killed us. My hubris once again. Ah, uh, but this is how I keep the game interesting for myself. There we go. Enjoy. And I'm saying that sarcastically because you're not going to enjoy what's coming. I know this. Uh, sure, we need another another five, if we can. And we'll be able to upgrade the walls tonight as well. There we go. It's going to be a long, bloody attack wave. It's going to be a blood moon from the portal, followed immediately by a blood moon night. Uh, it is going to be rough. But this will be uh, this will be our trial by fire. Whichever of my soldiers live through this night, they're going to be seasoned veterans, hardened warriors. It is going to be going to be amazing. And yep, sure. Let's upgrade this now. There we go. Thank you. Also, thank you. I really hope you can finish this wall in time, guys. Not to put any pressure on you or anything, but if you don't, we're all going to die. Oh, it wouldn't be my fault. Of course it wouldn't be my fault. I'm the king. I don't do anything wrong. If I tell you to do something and it results in our death, it's because you didn't do it right. There we go. One portal down. Now a long blood moon is going to face us. Genuinely, don't do what I've just done. Do not stack Blood Moon effects. It'll end up feeling 80 times as long as it actually is. It's just going to be an unending cycle of death. There we are. So you may die as well. You know, because if I'm going to die, I'm going to die, you know, covered in coins. I'm going to have so many coins on me that when they finally pull me off my horse, I'm going to hit the ground and it's going to cause a crater. And then some of them will get hit by my coin purse and they'll instantly give themselves. It'll just be bits of greed everywhere. Along with coins. Coins and greed. Thank you. Thank you as well. Now, once we actually have maxed out the farms we've got, wow, there are so many farms over here that we can just set up. It's going to be glorious. Rough Knight, Architect. Yeah. It is a bit of a rough one. Right, well. All the best. Because we're not going to be... I don't think we're going to be expanding for a while. We're going we're gonna to leave it until we have one day where the only thing that happens is just a regular day and then a regular night. Otherwise, it's going to get out of hand. It'll eventually get to the point where just the, the unceasing waves of, of greed will push our defenses well beyond their limits. Because right now, although it might not seem it, a lot of our defense relies on the fact that it gets repaired every day. There we go. But the, the builders will not repair things. Wow, really? Is that it? Is it over with? 
No, we've got another Knight of Greed. That's how much I know. We could launch another attack if we really wanted to. Um, no, I'm a little bit too far away now. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll just have a regular Blood Moon and we'll be fine. We'll let everything uh, get repaired. The rain has stopped. Maybe it's changed from the original kingdom, because the original kingdom, if you stacked Blood Moon effects, it was atrocious. There we go. Thank you very much for all of your money. Contribution, greatly appreciated. Let's get this upgraded. And also this upgraded. Uh, there's a couple of stones outside, but not too many. I would like some peasants to come join me. Thank you. Slowly growing our kingdom. Probably going to put those ones into farmers, though. I think farmers are what we need right now. We will, of course, upgrade this a little bit further. I'm probably going to go all the way to a ballista tower on this one. For that, we're going to need some deer, though. Ideally, too. So if I can go and find some deer to drive back towards the kingdom. One, oh, you're already pretty much dead. Okay, fair enough. But six coins is more than enough. That's all we need. I should be able to drive you back into my waiting archer. Go on. One, and again. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, how's all of this going? Not too bad. Where did my builders go? I have no idea where they've almost to. Ah, okay. They went back to the catapult because it was getting on in the day. Alright. Well, now that all of my builders are here, this should go a lot smoother. Let's get that set up. Of course, it's going to take an age now. Because I'm here watching it. That's how it always goes. Are you trying to stick the builder's head in your mouth, Mjorn? Hmm. I'm not sure I approve. I'm not sure whether it's because I don't feel that uh, you should be sticking random people's heads in your mouth. Or that they should be okay with this. It's, it's, it's kind of weird from both directions, honestly. I mean, at least Mjorn might genuinely be trying to eat them. In which case a little bit more acceptable. We should have plenty of coins to turn that into the highest tier tower. And we've got three builders working on it, which is great. No, actually, we've only got two. It seems that two may be the maximum and they were just alternating. They were just swapping out rolls a little bit. Either way, once this is set up to be a blister, that is going to be glorious for us. Let's get that going. And immediately, I'm going to grab you and take you back with me. I may have you start working on some of the towers in the main part of the kingdom, actually, as well. I'm going to spend some of my money on improving the defenses, though. Uh, no. Well, I wouldn't mind one more builder and then a farmer. But I haven't got the money for the farmer now, unfortunately. Oh, no, I do. Change my mind. I've got loads of money. And then we can upgrade this as well. Okay, not going too bad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if we can get back to the front line fast enough, Bjorn, have a norm, please. And we're going to send out an attack. Because it seems that we're safe. We're clear for attacks right now. And our defenses on the right are pretty stonkingly good. Go! Charge! Destroy! And also... I'm gonna need this cash, thank you. Perfect. Ah, oh, so good. We practically got two days for the price of one there. Just a little bit shy of that. We're gonna actually walk with our warriors... I want to go to the the um, war horse, but that's going to take a little bit more prep. We'll probably see what the war horse does 
in the next episode, I'm going to judge that to be our sort of time frame. Because we may get the third portal on this side cleared by the end of this episode. If so, then we'll get the whole war horse, and then we'll start taking the fight to the enemy. There we are. I could send out my builders to start clearing this forest, but honestly, that would be a bit dumb as if we're just about to hit a portal. Hello, Yorweth. How are you doing? Majestic as usual. Let's make sure my knights have plenty of coins. Yeah, it's the archers who are picking them up. Very well. Now that is the first smashed portal. Very good. Hello, dear. No, 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 I'm not here to hunt you today. It's fine. Now, is this portal going to be active? Yes, it is. I don't want to get too close then, because I don't want to cause any uh, larger spawns than are necessary. Okay. Main attack. Wow. Okay, this is ungood. This is actually, for the looks of it, a main attack. Right, quickly, grab this. And I want that bow back. Give it back, you scallywag. More coins. Our archers are fine, it seems. Good, 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 good. Stop firing! <laughs> the peasant's like, I want that bow! But I don't want to die! Oh, woe is me! Oh, yeah, you've just gotten off my shoulder. That's a not good place for you to be. I need to pick you up and take you with me, actually. Because tonight is going to be rough. We may actually lose our architect. That is terrifying. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I forgot that he was on my shoulder. Uh, rather on Bjorn's hips, actually, not his shoulders. I'm more, I'm closer to Bjorn's shoulders. I'm mostly on his back. That's just. Right, quickly break this thing. Well done. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more is needed. There we go. Right, brilliant work. Now, we need to charge through, run back. Really wanted to be able to uh, hit those two deer, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I had to expend a bit more cash than I was expecting to on keeping the knights going, but it's fine. We should be okay. All we've got to do now then is get back. I've still got a little bit of money, so I'm going to be able to hopefully pick up our friend there. No, no, no. Come on, die. Ah, Bjorn. That's right, go that way. Ah, oh, you're just taunting me now, aren't you? Fine, I probably deserved it. Right. Would you like to join me? Yes, good. Come on, James. We need to get back. We've now got access to the shrines, and at least for tonight, our archers are uh, particularly accurate, which is good. It is a blood moon, though. And I imagine the left are struggling a bit. On the plus side, that the fact that we did get the archer buff for them is going to make a massive difference, I fancy. I fancy that's going to be a huge improvement for them. We can still get a Blood Moon on the right. And we're probably going to lose the person who was rushing back for that bow, but... That's just going to be the way it's going to have to be, unfortunately. The main thing is we've got ballistas, we've got archer accuracy, and we've got a catapult on the right, actually. Let's go ahead and top this up. Oh, yeah. Come on, James. There we are. If you need any money, it is yours. Right, that was not a bad night, all things told. Now, they're going to have a very long run in order to get to the... Uh, other shrine though, so I think at this point we're probably going to want to look at expanding out our walls. I think ultimately that's going to have to happen. Now the unfortunate thing is we've got a very long night now as a result of that blood moon. Let's go grab ourselves some more cash. But this is not the best situation to be in. These super long nights are quite bad for a number of reasons. 
Because our farmers won't go out whilst they're happening. And... Do we have enough to upgrade this? We do. Let's get that into a ballista tower. We'll free up a bunch of archers when we do it too. Come with me. Uh, we are going to upgrade this and push all the way to a castle. Maybe get a little bit more. There we go. Now, if we're lucky, our farmers are going to be able to furnish us with enough money to upgrade that tower over there. Possibly not all the way, though. That would be hoping for a lot. We'll definitely get an extra layer of stone wall there, though. Alright, there's the blood moon finally rising. It feels like it's been an age, but here it is at last. And provided we survive the night, we'll be wrapping the episode up there. How's everything going down here? Ah, uh, death. That ballista shot, so good. There we go. Archer accuracy. Absolutely perfect. Wondrous. Right, yeah, that's probably the best place for you. Right, let's get you inside. We need you to help bolster the defenses. Also, the economy. Right, you can come with me. Thank you. All right. That was not a bad, super long Blood Moon night, all things considered. We've destroyed two portals. There is only one left on the right for us to worry about. I'm probably not going to hit that tonight, though. I think that would be pushing the, the city a little bit too hard. Our defenses need time to recover after so much fighting. I'm going to get another archer. Our defences are actually quite strong now. We've got a lot of ballistas now. This is going to keep us going for a while. Even if a Blood Moon does manage to break a wall, I imagine the ballistas are going to do tremendous amounts of damage to them. Because, ultimately, other than golems... Golems can, if they decide to punch just outside of the tower... For example, someone stood at the bottom. They won't try to punch it to kill the people on the tower. At least not that I've seen. But if for some reason they try to take a swing at someone nearby the tower, they can kill the people on it with their punch. However, beyond that, uh, I think the golems can sometimes hit them with rocks, but they don't throw the rocks at the towers. They, or at least I've never seen them do that. They throw it at the people on the ground. Again, sometimes the people on the towers can get in the way and, and get knocked off along with. But beyond all of that, then the only thing that a person on a tower has to worry about is the flying creatures and they're so few and far between that I think one ballista is going to be able to kill them before they can kill it. Which is crazy, crazy good. Right, I'm going to march in and I'm going to pop some money into both the archer shrine and the farming shrine. And I think that's more or less where we're going to wrap this episode up. Yes, I know. I know, I know. Bad times. Always bad times. We are going to want a teleport over here, though. Probably this one, actually, because it'll drop us off right outside the shrines. Let's get... Okay. Okay. James, you were warning me. I, I didn't listen. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Why have we got an attack? This is probably because that attack was so far away... But when it launched, it just took this long for it to, to actually get here. How terrifying. Either that, or it launches so that it'll reach your kingdom at nightfall. That could be it as well. But we're just going to walk back. I, I love how the, the architect's like, yeah, yeah, you just carry me back, okay? I'm not getting off right now. If I got off right now, I'd die. I don't want to die. Oh, maybe I do. Please come along. Maybe I do want to die. I've decided death is a grand adventure, and I want to know know what uh, what happens at the end of that story. Uh, let's not play with the uh, with the rabbits now. 
Let's just get back to base. We could launch the attack. I don't know. Once we've defeated this group, I suppose we could launch an attack. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we'll launch the attack at the very beginning of the next episode. We'll see how things go. But for right now, we're just going to hold position here. There we go. Well done. Wasn't sure if you were blistering a rabbit then or not. But that looked glorious. Launch all of the arrows. And please don't ballista your king. That looks surprisingly deadly for me. Please stop. Oh, without archer accuracy, this is painful. There we go. And with that, this, this guy is definitely dead. But that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next as ever. Any feedback, warmly welcome. Then a like on the video lets me know you want to see more Kingdom New Lands in the future. But until then... Take care, everyone.